Committee, Committee on Finance will reconvene for decision making on Senate Bill 2821, Senate Draft 2, relating to menstrual equity. We wanted to thank the Ma'i movement, Ms. Nikki, and we also wanted to thank Ms. Lily for organizing all the kids from Ilima Intermediate and other students who are here. Uh, we were just very um, inspired and um, excited that you guys are our future. And you, I know some of you folks are really nervous about testifying, but you know, I mean, you could not have done better job and in fact you know some of you guys are much better than some of the adults who testify <laughs> and so we depend on you guys to be the future of our state and so we wanted to thank you guys all for taking the time to come here i know um this has been a long um movement uh and then you know thank you for some of you guys for organizing and then we also wanted to recognize senator kidani who has championed this movement from the very beginning so Senator Kidani, thank you very much for being here. The strong supporters, including the superintendent who's here and Department of Education and Ms. Laverne, who is um, representing HSTA and the strong commitment by HSTA and the teachers who uh, really want um, equity for students and for recognizing the importance of this. So we have a lot of advocates and this is long time coming. So with that uh, recommendation is to pass as uh, HD1, making the effective date July 1, 2022. Uh, what we need to do is figure out exactly how much money is needed for to make sure that, well, that all schools have this access. So that's what the last thing that we need to do to figure out how much money there is. So we will be having one more step, which is the House and the Senate will figure out, okay, in talking to the department, how much money we will need to allocate to make sure that, you know, some schools may need more, some schools may not, um, may need different amounts. So we wanna make sure that no school is left behind. So that, that's the last step but we wanted to make sure that we vote on this bill before you guys leave. So with that, um, pass with a HD1, July 1, 2022, and technical non-substantive changes. Any discussion, April? Any discussion? Representative Illigan. Thank you, Chair. Um, this, this experience has really warmed my heart. As a neighbor island representative, I, I, as I watch the kids here on Oahu, I picture the kids in the neighbor island speaking the same. And I just want you to know that while you were speaking, you were speaking on behalf of them as well. And you are making such a powerful impact to kids all throughout the state. And that courage has led to this. So I just wanna say thank you for stepping up and speaking your experience and sharing your, your advocacy today. And I just wanna just encourage you to continue this feeling that you felt today on the issues that you will face in the future. And if you see um, the challenges that needs to be fixing, continue this advocacy throughout your life. Thank you for being here. I, I just want to say that, you know, all of you have given me a lot of hope for the future. And when I was watching you testify earlier, I saw a lot of myself in you. So I don't have any doubt that one of these days, some of you will be sitting on this table right here, taking a vote on it's an important issue that will affect kids in the future. So good job, I'm so proud of you. If not, we're ready to vote. Okay, okay uh, members, we're voting on Senate Bill 2821 SD2, a recommendation of the chairs to pass with amendments. Chair Luke. Aye. Vice Chair votes aye. Representative Bronco. Aye. Eli. Aye. Holt, excuse. Iligan. Aye. Kobayashi. Aye. Uh, Martin. Aye. Ishimoto. Excuse. Peruso. Aye. Sayama. Aye. Pam. Aye. Todd. Aye. Wahlberger. Aye. McDermott. Excuse.
Chair, your recommendation is adopted. Okay, thank you very much. So with that, we're going to take a short recess so we can um, allow the students to leave or if you want to just um, thank the students and your um during the recess we'll do that and then we'll clear out the room for our next continuing our agenda thank you very much